the, your intention this evening was to take your own life. Yeah, I tried to commit suicide. And it didn't work. And I'm trained to, to take life. That's my specialization. And I can't believe the stupid thing. Well, you continue to say your specialization. You didn't learn that as a police officer. Yeah, I did. Because I've never learned that. I've been a police officer longer than you. You're not like us. We're the Mounties. We're, so I just have holes in my head. And he said, because that, he said, technically, I shouldn't be walking or talking right now. I should be dead. And he says, just that I'm just tough. I'm physically fit. So, mm -hmm. and even with these cutting my throat, I got in there good and deep. I was working it. And the, the doctor said that the, the arteries not, they move around. Well, they, I think that's a natural reflex for them to try to move out of the way. But I got in there good. I was like zigzagging it, and it just still didn't work. Damn it. Oh, well. Maybe a train will do it. <laughs> well, I can really, I can be very honest with you, Kevin. You, there'll be, if you ever get out of here, yeah. Well, so I can that's get on the train. That's if. If I don't uh, care. You're, you're facing. Pen time. Kevin, you're facing first degree murder. The punishment for first degree murder is life in jail. Mm -hmm. Oh, if that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen then. I want you to my intent me. was to die tonight. And because I cut my throat and it didn't work, I needed a gun so I could blow my brains out. And I need the only people who have guns are police officers. And so I went down to the hospital because the hospitals always have policemen there. And that's it. I wanted his gun. I wanted to die. That's all. I still want to die. You're a young man, Kevin. You have uh, a ton of things going for you. No, I don't. Not you have a beautiful man. wife. She's going to leave me for this. I'm not stupid. I know my wife. She's going to be gone after this. You'll always have a son. You're always a father. Do you have any other children? Yeah, a couple more. When you hurt yourself or when you cut your neck the first time, you said you did it three times today? Oh, I did six. I did three on one side. I just oh, dug okay. it in. Did yeah. Nope. 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 And then... Because it's supposed to work. But did you have it bandaged up when you went to the hospital? Yeah, because I was bleeding everywhere. It was so who, where'd you get the bandaging? At my house. Oh, okay. I just got some band-aids and put them on it. Okay. That's all. And then I put another one on top of it. Because like, like, I'd get dressed and then all of a sudden, <laughs> down my front, and be like, gross. When, um, where'd you get the car? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I carjacked that at the, at the Tim Hortons. I told you guys already. I just took it. I, I this young couple. I said, "I need your car." And what did they say? Um, okay, and they got out, and that was it. How did how did, you just told them you wanted the car? That doesn't seem like it works yeah. out like I that. I said, just "Give me your car. I need it." And did and you have any weapons? You have your knife. No. Did you have your gun? Mm -hmm. Yes. I waved it around. Yeah. Whereabouts in the parking lot was it? I know the parking lot pretty well. Right in front of Tim's. Well, there's a police station right across the street. <laughs> you know, that's what makes it even really audacious. Well, why didn't you just go over there and wait for a police officer if you were looking for a gun? I actually was. I drove around the lot about three times looking for a guy, but they were all off shift. It's cold out. Well, I don't know. It was in between shifts because when I came over to the hospital, the, uh, I was passed by three cars, and they're heading back because I guess shift was over for them over there. You're, they were heading back. You were going down a green. I don't follow you. I was going to the hospital. And yeah. I drove, just drove past. Where were you me. between the time you took the car, the carjacking, and uh, the murder? Where were you? At home. home washing my clothes, washing the bedding. So you stole the car, went home, or you did the carjacking? Yeah. Drove the car. I went home and I just cleaned up the place best I could. No. Would anyone? My parents. I went by and saw them. Show my dad my cut. My neck and stuff. Just told them goodbye. Then they drove around looking for me. How do you know that? Because they sent me an email. How do you know you had an email? Because I checked on the computer when I was at home. Oh, it's on the computer at your house? Yeah. Okay. And laptop. Yeah. Well, we'll we're going to have to get a search warrant for your house. You yeah, understand that, right? Mm hmm. Um, and did you respond to the email? No. Okay. So I say goodbye. 
and goodbye, did you tell them what the goodbye meant? Like, yeah, not I'm well, traveling to Europe. But no, no, I just said I, I uh, tried to cut my throat and it didn't work, so I, gotta go, I had to go find something else, and I wasn't going to drown myself because with my luck, I would fall in the water my, and I wouldn't drown. So I had to get find a weapon. I even drove by the, all the donut shops until it clicked in hospital. Like, no, this, no, I'm not being disparaging with donuts with the guys. It's just like we always went to the donut shops because they're open all night. Well, and you take a and break. You take a break. You're allowed to have breaks, right? Union breaks? Yeah. We don't have a union, but yeah, but that's what you do at the coffee shop. People think it's because we're lazy or something, but it's just because they're open. Sure. And you get that sugar fixed too when you're tired working late shifts. You still think like a cop can? I know. Do you feel sorry? What oh, absolutely. There's nothing I can do. Nothing can be done. Like you said, you can't take back. Well, no, there me. is. You could say sorry. Are you? Well, to who? Somebody will be watching this someday. Yeah, I know. They're not going to. His kids. Oh my gosh, he has kids. How do you know? Because Thompson told me. No, some other guy. He says, you're a, what do you say, you sack of shit. He has two kids. No, sorry. The story doesn't cut it. So. It might. You might want to try it. No? Oh, no, no, I'm not saying no. Hey, down the road, if I run into his kids, if they come to me, and they, I'll, I'll talk to them and I'll tell them I'm sorry. Well, with all due respect, Kevin, I don't think they want to talk to you. Yeah, that's good. I wouldn't want to talk to me either. You're not evil, Kevin. No. You've done something evil, and I'm trying to find out, I'm trying to understand why. I just wanted a gun. I wanted to kill myself. That's all. But you left a big piece of the puzzle out. What's that? What happened? I... Uh, my daughter says not to say, my police instincts say not to say, and that's it. And well, you're the one that gets wait. to decide in here. Yeah. There's just you and me here. No, it's not. There's a video camera. Guys are watching, and every time they think of a question, they call you on the phone. That's what we do, too. I mean, you're all by myself, man. You have a phone, and they call you because sure they're not. watching. Well, they can't call me. They're, wa they're, there may be people watching, but it's, this but is, that's this what is we your do time, too. Kevin. Well, yeah. we, we operate a little differently. This is your time. Like I said, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to say story. This would be a perfect opportunity for you to fill in the blanks. Like I said, like that's why I put the, that's why I put you to that position to you. If someone came to you and said, "Hey, give me your gun," as a police officer, you know exactly what would happen. You would not give your gun up. So I don't get where you think that you could go and approach a uniformed officer or any buddy in the security industry and say, give me your gun. You're wearing, wearing two bulletproof vests, Kevin. No, you're, well, you're wanting me to give you a statement again. Well, I'm trying to understand, Kevin. And I'm sure everybody is. There's probably at least 800,000 people in this city who are trying to understand. Yeah. And there'll be probably hundreds of thousands of people in a couple days trying to understand. Yeah. And this is your time to make them understand or to let them understand what happened. Because for the reasons I already stated, you don't approach a police officer. You know as well as I do, Kevin, if I were to touch your gun when you're in uniform, you know what you're trained to do. I know what I'm trained to do. I just have a hard time grasping what it is, what was going through your mind. Like I said, we have witnesses, we have stuff, we have evidence. I don't think that, that in, my, in my opinion, is not a question. The question is why. And with all due respect, Kevin, I don't think you wanting to end your life justifies the actions that you took. That's my opinion. There will be a trier of fact who will judge that, not me. I just don't get it. 
And I'd be doing the very same thing if you were the person that had been, had their life ended. And I'd be talking to you just the very same if you were the cop, which you are. You are a Mormon, right? Mm -hmm. You think your religion, I think, tells you you're completely, your damnation is yours, right? Oh, absolutely, I'm going yeah. to hell. Yeah. So why don't you slit your wrists? Because it doesn't work when you cut your wrists. It does if you cut them the right way. Well, even if you cut along with that, they, they'll bunch up together. The best thing is the throat. I should have gone in the leg, maybe. From, from oral artery? Yeah. But I didn't know. After it didn't work, and I was like, whatever, I need a gun. When did you decide you needed a gun? What time? I don't know. What time did you cut your neck at? 7. 7 p.m.? Mm hmm And then you know what time you went out and got the car at? Did the carjacking? I walked over to the tone shop. Because you live nearby, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's down the street. Yep. So I walked over there, and then the opportunity presented itself, so I took it. And, uh... Was it before or after midnight? Mm, it was way before that. Okay. And then you went back home? You went to see your parents? I went to see my parents, then I went home. And Did you do anything else? No, I just kind of, I cleaned up. It was a real mess. And then the, I kept spurting on the right side all the time. I used to be standing there and start spurting. So I had to wash my clothes a couple times. And I figured I wasn't coming back, so I just enjoyed laying on my sofa. Why did you figure you were not coming back? Because I could have been shot and killed at the hospital. It was suicide by cop. Well, you were wearing a bulletproof vest, two of them, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. How did you figure that was going to happen? Well, if you got lucky, hit me in the head. Triple tap, eh? Two of the chest, one of the head. That's what I'm trained to do. Mm -hmm. This is the training in depot. But most guys can't do that because they get nervous. The first shot will go in, then the other two will go off. But you never know. But my, I just wanted to go in so I can go home. I wanted to die in my own place. I just wanted to go die in my home, my space, not on the street or in the snow. But that's what you caused. Yeah, I know. So. What did you tell the officer when you approached him? I know you really want to know. I can't tell you. I'll tell. I'll tell my lawyer, and he can tell you. Well, that's you know better than me. That's not. That's not how this works. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. I'm screwed either way. It doesn't matter. Kevin, it does matter. Oh, it does matter. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I can't even die. Is there a letter? No. Nope. You're just checking out? Checking out. Why Why? Why so defeatist, Kevin? I'm not defeatist. I don't, it's not defeatism. I'm just going. I'm leaving. I'm just going well, over that, there. Lots of people say that you just, you're, that's you just give it up. That's not what I believe. That's not what I think. You've just given up? No, I'm just going. You seem rather matter of fact about it. Yeah. How does someone get so resolved to just to say, you know what, that's the way I'm going? How does someone do that? Because I've been this way for five years. What kept me going in my outfit? It doesn't matter now. I'm in charge of first degree murder. When they were causing me trouble at work, my plan when I was in Regina was to put my surge on and go down to the parliament buildings and cut my throat, which I'm glad I didn't do because it wouldn't have worked. Just to cause trouble for the force, because it's a big, it would have been a big PR thing. And when I got here in town, my thing was I'll go down to the Centennial Flame and just lay out there and, and now I realize, holy shit, that would have been the stupidest thing in the world, because I couldn't have cut my throat anyways. And that's what kept me going, the fact that I could die and leave at any time. And this has been going on since 2005. And that's what's kept me going. So I've been suicidal for five freaking years. So for me, it's no big deal. It sucks to be me. So it's just things like that. And it was just getting to me, getting to me. Then they took my pay. That was this summer, right? No, that was uh, 
they they kept it going until November. Then oh, they took okay. it. But the thing they did wrong was they tied it into the panel, which they can't do, and that screwed themselves. Okay. Plus, when they took it. So why? So there's my point. That's my point. Yeah. So y you said they can't do this, and you've appealed this stuff. So why, at this juncture, do you decide? Well, Kevin Gregson's checking out. Why? What? What now? I don't get it. I really don't. Because I have thirty dollars. Because you have a, a beautiful son. You have a wife that's that stood by you I know. to this point. You have children out west that will always stand by you. No, they won't. They and won't you have your you. church or your church religion. Is a joke. Your religion. I, I. It's just time. I just I had enough. It's a big noise. And just I just lived with it and I controlled it. How did you control it though? I mean, I if, you're, if you're aggressive, it. how does that work? I just controlled it. That's all. You didn't control. You didn't have very much control today. I wasn't aggressive to it. Like I, I don't know. It's just I kind of live with it, and I just kind of control it. Like today, I wasn't aggressive. That wasn't aggression at all. Um, I think a lot of people would disagree with it. That's okay. How, how? Well, then you'd need to define what you consider to be aggressive. That wasn't aggression. <laughs> Taking someone's life with a knife is not aggressive. I don't. I think you'd have a hard time selling that anywhere. Just my point of view. Mm -hmm. What 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 would you consider to be aggressive then? Asserting yourself, I don't know, things like that. Asserting yourself? Is that what you said? I didn't. Is that what you said? Asserting yourself? Yeah. Do you think you're a, a fair person? I was. I'm not anymore. Why? I'm a monster now. Because of this? Oh, yeah. Or before? Oh, because of this. Do you think it's unjustified? That label? I mean, it's the label you've given yourself. Do you think it's accurate? Oh, I was thinking about that today. Because I told my dad that I'm a monster. And the thing is, is that humans are monsters. Yeah, but if you told your dad that, that would be before mm -hmm. you murdered the officer. So, <laughs> murdered. Well, you murdered him. The courts will decide that. You're right. He took his life. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it's not getting around that. No. Okay. So you took his life. So you you said you told your father something before you took the officer's life. Mm -hmm. So. What was that in relation to? Well, you said you were you you made the comment about being a monster before this happened. I asked uh -huh. you if you thought you were a monster. And you said because of this, and I said you you answered yes. But you you thought you had some thoughts about being a monster prior to that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because humans. I'm a human being. I'm a human being too. Yeah. We do the same thing, Kevin. Not really. No? Why is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here in the zoot suit. And yeah, well, you. And I've done The allegation against you is, is that you took somebody's life. Yeah. We're on opposite sides of the table. We still do the same thing. They obviously hired us for the same reason. Yeah. So, whatever. I just don't know how you get to the conclusion. To me, all people are bad. That's, that's it. Uh, that's problematic for me. Well, yeah, I know, but that's how I view it. I look at everybody, and they're all bad, and that's it. And they sh sometimes exhibit a bit of good, but for the most part, they're bad, and that's it. And that's being human. Well, that's glass half empty. It's not human. It's glass half empty. You you choose to do that. That's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. It's like the people that say the glass is always half full and everything's all rosy. Well, that's not true either. Right? I mean... I have my view, you have yours. Sure. You want to be an optimist? I'm not. I'm a pessimist. I'm a realist. Okay. Well, you're a pessimist. I, I don't know that you're a realist. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you're being aggressive. I'm not being aggressive. No, you're being assertive. I've, I've made, I've made, my, I've made, I'm trying, I made a point. Whether you agree or disagree, it's, it's on the table. Whether you accept it or not, that's one thing. It's like you saying you didn't murder the officer. Well... I didn't. Well, how do you how do you how do you classify that then? That that's the question. I guess. That. I'm going to talk to my lawyer about that. If I tried to take your anything right now, say we're on the street, you and me, and I, you're walking down the street towards me, and you have a a laptop case and a laptop over your shoulder, and I try to take it because I want it because I need one. 
What's your uh, response? on a little laptop here. What's your response? I can't talk to you. You know that. Well, we are talking. Try. No, you're going to try and try and try and try. It's okay. I have to talk to my lawyer. I can't. You won't even see me till the end, so i got to wait. Well, you are the person who makes the decisions in this room. Actually, I'm not. Actually, you are. Well, I've decided not to talk to you about stuff. Just because of my own experience as a police officer, and also because Israel, what's his name, last name? Uh, Gen Gencher. Gencher says not to. Uh, and and, I, and I, I understand enough that I do understand the magnitude of uh, what's happened here. Like, they, when the guy, is, the guy says, you're a piece of shit, and the guy's dead, it's like, oh, holy shit. It's like, oh, no. Okay. Like you said downstairs, uh, the drama's over. Yeah, it is over. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get upset. It's done. I tried to die, and I couldn't die. I can't it's die. It's not about you. I know it's not about me, but I'm just saying. It stopped being about you when he took his life. Yeah, and I'm just saying. In the execution of his duty. That's where, saying, we need, that's where we need to get I'm straight here. What I'm saying is that I'm not going to go and cause trouble. I'm just going to... Well, what trouble could you cause? You're With these boys? Could they all walk around me and they're getting ready to scrub me in case I go nuts or something? I, yeah. The nuts part is all done. It's, it is done. I tried to take my life and it didn't work. So but you keep talking about you. you. Keep talking about you. Of course, I'm going to talk about me. That's a choice you made about mm -hmm. ending your life. Yeah, it didn't work. No, I know. That's a choice you made. You made other choices for other people, including myself mm -hmm. and a bunch of children, including your own. Yeah, I know. We don't get to decide. You chose. So I think it's a, we, we, we need to just move away a bit about, a little piece about you. Move away from that. Buddy. I don't you don't have to trust me. You shouldn't trust me. You're not building trust with me right now. Now you're badgering me. And I'm not going to talk to you. Do I have to sit here and be real quiet? Do until you, or do are you going to make me sit here for hours and hours and hours? Do anything you want. Okay. Except leave. I know. You're under arrest. I know. Yep. I know. And, that. uh. I'm charged with first degree. Well, you're not charged with anything yet. Mm hmm. But based on the information that we have, that's what you're going to lay charges. That's really okay. Like, that's that's what you're going to do, and and that's that's how the process do, works. Do you, yeah, I got the process, and I know that you're a cop, Kevin, and I know that you know all about this. And no, you actually, same, I don't. You know had the same course. But I did have the same course, yes. yeah. And I, your, I'm you in big trouble. Yeah, you but think you see, know that, Kevin. You seem all matter of fact right now. I am very matter of fact. I'm you know what? Matter of fact. That's not going to go well for you. The person has to be who they are. I'm not going to put on a, a show for anyone. I'm not going to look at the thing about me. I, the way I they, at my work, how they describe me is I'm very brutally honest and I'm awkward because I, I don't get up and I don't try and uh, I don't pass the buck. I don't. That's exactly Point what you're finger. doing. No, I'm not. You think that somehow this whole event is acceptable because you it's are only trying acceptable. to find a, find a gun to kill yourself. That's what it's coming off as, Kevin. I'm just the spectator in this. I'm just watching. That's how it's coming off to me. That's why I said we got to stop talking about you. The fact that you chose to end your life or to check out, that you're okay with that, doesn't mean that the rest of the world is okay because you decided made choices for other people tonight. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. Yeah, but you do understand that'll be my defense. Do whatever you want. Yeah, you, you're, 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 so there's no point. Like it, the, the, this whole thing is mental health act. It's written all over. It. It's like how do you figure that? Because I know. How do you figure this is mental health act? Because I messed up. Because you're depressed.
Is that what you're trying to tell me? We've conversed here like two people sitting on bar stools in a bar. And? And. That's my point. And. And the truth is the truth. Yep, and it shall set you, set you free. Or condemn you. Or condemn you, yeah. Pretty philosophical for two uh, flatfoots. I've been a cop for five years. Well, there's two things that are going to happen. You're going to be charged. I'm going to be charged. Right. I could go to jail You're for either going to be convicted, long time. convicted, or not convicted. Yeah. Th that's that's the way this is going to go. Yeah. And uh, witnesses and evidence is evidence, and witnesses are witnesses, and they yeah. say what they say. And you have the opportunity right now to look up at the camera and tell that widow. And those children. You said that they're not going to watch it. Oh, they'll be watched. I said everyone's going to watch this at some point. Yeah, even my people out there, CMP. How embarrassing. Everyone's going to watch. It's embarrassing. You think this is embarrassing? Yeah. That, that's all you can think of. This is going to be embarrassing. Mm, you went from flat foot to, oh, it's going to be embarrassing. No. You think this is embarrassing? Is that what is that what you're? Is that what you want the family to hear? Is that what you want the citizens of this free country? Is that what you want people to know about you? Is that you think this is embarrassing? Flat foot to embarrassing. Now you're trying to make me feel bad or something. I already feel bad. You do. Well, then say it. Huh? I already did a few times. No. You think this is embarrassing? You don't know how this will impact the RCMP. You're worried about the image, your image. You have a lot more problems than that, my friend. Yeah. That's okay. It's who I am. If I get locked up for it, I get locked up for it. You're not my friend. I don't have any friends. At all. And I don't need friends. Because my dad's like that. He once told me, he says, you know what? When you have friends, you got to go and be nice and do things to be acceptable to them. So if you do your own thing, you can do your own thing. You don't have to worry about it. And I have picked up that philosophy. And that's it. Well, you know, you have to know, that since people pulled you off, or in, in, intervened in the, uh, in the in the stabbing, that we have at least one eyewitness. You know that, right? There was uh, a girl and a guy and a guy. No, wait, a girl and a guy. The guy had had me in a bear. i pretty good. And the girl, she had grabbed my arm, and another girl came and kicked the the knife. Okay, so that would be three, three people. That would be three witnesses, right? At right. least. Yeah. In this day and age, you know about uh, video surveillance and cameras mm -hmm. and, right? Yeah. High in the sky, Big Brother, all that stuff, all going. Could be working against you, right? I don't. It doesn't matter. It, 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 you know, the courts will decide what happens. And whatever the courts decide, I'll accept. You had uh, three knives or two? Two. The the knife? The big one, the peacekeeper. The peace, is that what it's called? Yeah, it's called a peacekeeper. It's a NATO issue. You can buy them at like, any knife shop. Store, knife yeah. shop yeah. And, and then a the little one. You have a Swiss Army in your pocket? No, it's not Swiss. It's just a... That was just... Uh, Are you considered to be somewhat of a... Knife expert, or I guess you don't have any. Do you have any specific training other than the stuff you mentioned about knives, oh, sharp edge training? Uh, yeah, with my work. Okay, with your work. I mean, yeah, and then well. you just pick up stuff on your own. Okay, knife work is pretty basic. Uh, yeah. People, people uh, make a big deal about dancing around the crap, but it's all about it's just it's all prison yard rush. That's all knife work is. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and then that didn't work, so I had to get a gun. Right. I can't believe it. I 
So why didn't you try to buy one on the street? Buy one on the street? Yeah. From who? I could have just borrowed one. A long yes, you could have. Someone. Yes, you could have. That's part of the but idea. the knife was supposed to work, and it didn't work. Okay, so why, did, why didn't you just borrow a rifle from somebody? Why didn't you go to Canadian Tire and buy a shotgun? Because I don't have a... Why didn't you, you know somebody that has a weapon break in their house and take it? No, because it's more accessible from a, a member. Mm, I'd say it's not accessible at all. Do you have for, the, for the very reason is that you would never give up your gun and neither would I, under no circumstance. That's not accessible. That's you making a choice to go do that. That's not accessible at all. Like I said, that's about a choice you made. You've had choices now, you had choices yesterday. You've had choices the whole time. Go and steal one. That's available. Going to a police officer and trying to disarm them to take their sidearm, not available. Did you want the officer to shoot you and kill you? No, I just want this gun. Right, so you could kill yourself. Yeah, in my house. On my sofa. Or in the bathtub. And that would work. I need to use the washroom. Would you like some water? No, oh, thank you. Okay, I'll be back in a second. What a mess. Ugh. What a mess. Oh, damn. What a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Gosh. I'm getting in trouble, I'm getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Jeez Louise. Did you consider any other manner of death? Or any other way of ending your life? My thing was knife. The knife. Yeah. And but I mean, when the, the knife didn't was, work. Just the gun. I thought about pills, but I didn't want to take the chance that it wouldn't work. Well, they'll work. You know they work. You've seen one. If you take the right amount. But like, just take them all. That won't do with me. Look, I'm healthy. I'm not going to, with my luck, I will just end up damaging all my organs. I'm not going to go around and be a So you think it's good? You think it's, you think you have good luck, you would be able to survive any other fashion That's of suicide? That's not good suicide. luck. Well, that's you call it bad of. luck. Some people would say good luck. That's what I, I considered knife. That was what I thought about for a long time, and it didn't work. So I went to the to the gun. That's all. That's it. That was my thought process. So why would you involve another innocent party in your own death? That's how I was thinking. Pardon? That's how I was thinking. I just wanted a gun. I just wanted to die. I still do. I don't want to live now. 
but it's just the way it's worked out. So you and you know, if I go into the pen system, maybe I can get involved in the gang and I'll get whacked. There you go. Then I'll be dead there. So you involved another innocent party, another innocent member of this society. Society. Because you couldn't think of any other way to get a gun. I didn't think of him as being innocent. I just thought of him as someone who possessed the weapon that I wanted. You don't think he's innocent? I didn't think of him as an innocent. I thought of him as a person who possessed the weapon that I wanted. So he became a target because he had something you wanted. Well, if target. He, well, he's not. He's not innocent. If he's not innocent, then he's the target. I didn't what think you were doing? I just wanted the gun. That's all I wanted. I wanted the gun. I wanted to die. I wanted the gun. Why didn't you, why didn't you get up on the Queensway and stand in front of a tractor trailer? That I didn't my think friend. about that. I thought it would jump. So you thought it'd be easier to go and confront a police gun. officer to get his gun. Yeah. You thought that would be easier. Why do you think I was carrying cuffs? That's, you were going to you were going to abduct him. I know. I was just going to cuff him. So because you thought he'd go with you, is that it? No, because I'm stronger than him. Uh, how do you know that? Because I'm I'm freakishly strong. No, you think, I am. You think quite highly of yourself. I am. I, I have lots of experience in, in, in restraint. I, I, it's no big deal. So how did a, how did a paramedic wrestle you to the ground and keep you there? You're so strong. Because I didn't. Once he took me down, I stopped. It was done. But I was telling him to watch the crime scene. Everyone was walking all over it. So you're concerned. You're concerned about the crime scene at that point. No, I wasn't. I was just saying, hey, you guys, watch where you're walking. So you thought, in your mind, it would be easy to handcuff a police officer and take his gun. Yeah. You thought, in your mind, that was... Yeah. But the thing is, is that I was trying to kill myself. That's, what you're, that's what you're alleging, yes. I'm not alleging. That didn't work. So I got it in my head, gun. So I went looking for one. I drove everywhere. I drove down past the donut shops. I thought maybe one guy will pull me over because I'm in a car that's hot. They didn't. Three guys drove past me. They didn't stop me. I'm surprised at that. I'm, wow. Don't these guys pay attention? And then and then I figured, oh, the hospital, because I used to take clients there. And so it's going to be loaded with police officers. And I'll go there and just grab one from someone. Quick, quick, quick. Gone. And it's done. So you and expect, home, you expect, and then, yes, I did, and then I'd come home and I'd do my thing, and I could sit there and stare at the wall for a while and just do it, and then I'm done, in my house, in my home, where I'm safe, but it's not my home anymore, but that's irrelevant in that sense, but that's what I was doing, I wasn't thinking about all these other things, I was just thinking about dying and getting a gun. I think that you didn't have the moxie to kill yourself, or the knowledge. You think you profess it and possess it. And I think that you didn't have it. So you know as well as I do from your police training that you pull a knife out within six feet of a police officer. It's just side by cop. Right. That's right. That's Why right. Why was I wearing two vests? That's right. So the other alternative is, is that you intended to do what you wanted to do and that you were going to engage other people, other innocent members of the public, other police officers whom you have no grudge against who are actually somewhat your brethren. That's true. That's what that guy told me. He said, you're a dirtbag. You went after one of your own. And it's true. That, uh, that's right. You went after one of your own. That's my point. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. Well, it's not just bad. It's tragic, my friend. It's evil. Well, it's... No, it is. It is. It's... There's, it's... Uh, what a mess. So which is it? Huh? Why didn't you stand in front of a tractor trailer? Why didn't you take the pills? I didn't think of that. I got it in my head about the gun. And the pills don't work. As far as I'm concerned, with the way my body is, I it wouldn't work. And I'm not going to go around being a gimp. I want to be dead. And that's it. So the gun was the next option. That's what I thought. That's what I went well, and did. Well, if the wounds to your neck were that serious, you'd still be in the hospital. You know that? Because no, they, they did a CAT scan on you. Mm -hmm. And I know from and speaking to the officer. And they didn't get any of the things, I, I know. And you think I didn't so you really didn't damage anything when you put the knife in there. Right. So your behavior tonight. Oh, it was atrocious. It was criminal. It was evil. Oh well, it, it is criminal. Yeah, you killed somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And you went there with a purpose. No, I went there to get a gun. Yeah, and I'm, what I'm saying to you is that's not plausible. 
or believable. To you, and that's what you're saying, but the thing is when I go into the courts, the courts will hear what I have to say and they'll decide what they want to say. You can get up there and say what you have to say, but it's up to no, them. It doesn't matter what I say. System. Or whoever. It's, it's, it's what the, your trier of fact will believe or understand. Yeah, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. So you didn't consider drowning? I did. I talked to my mom and dad. I said, I don't want to drown. Gross. Because with my luck, I'll survive it. Because you're extra tough. Yes. You wouldn't want to do pills because you don't know how much to take. Even though if you took them all, it would kill you. You know very well. You've seen it before. Not you necessarily don't want with me. All right. You're that... I am that tough. Okay. So you don't want to hang yourself. No, because I saw a guy do that, and that's no way to do it. Right, so there's a dignified way out of it killing yourself. It wasn't really a dignified way. The guy was kicking. So, kicking. so the better way, the, what you're trying to tell me, and what you want me to believe. Was the gun thing. Yeah, what you want me to believe is, and what you're going to want someone to believe someday, is that you went in, you approached a police officer, and had every intentions of disarming him, mm -hmm. handcuffing him, and expecting him to say, okay. Didn't matter take, what he said. I mean, you stabbed this officer to death, and you still didn't get his gun. Do you even know how to take our guns out of our holsters? Well, hey, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Do you even know how to do that? No. No. So how are you going to do that? I didn't think of that. No. So you think of a lot of things. Or that's what you want me to believe? Yep. That's what you want me to believe, or that's the that's truth? That's what I'm going to tell the court, and that's the truth. Because in ours, you've got to do a rock, eh? To bring it out. Your guys, he had a, a latch on it, so he couldn't pull it out. If he had been able to didn't have that latch, he could have pulled it out and gotten rid of me. Oh, don't worry, he knows how to get his gun out. Don't worry. Oh, it had nothing to do with the latch. The latch's not for him. <laughs> 30 minutes. 30 seconds. Did, 30 he even, seconds. did he even go to his gun? Yes, he did. We were both grabbing for it. Ugh. Never mind. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Hmm. Yeah, I might regret this. If he didn't have that latch, he would have been okay. Why, you would have got the gun? He would have got the gun out and shot me. Or you would have got it? No, I wouldn't have gotten it. He had his hand on it. He what was pulling you, it out. What did you say to him? I didn't say anything to him. How'd you get him out of the car? I'm not telling him. I'm, I'm going to keep that to myself. You'll hear the story. He would have had his gun out, but he was, he was jamming the gun. It was stuck. That's stupid. I can't believe you people do that. On our guns, we have the lock, so you can just, if you do quick draw, you just draw, it comes out. But no one, no one has lashes on their guns. Like, it's too much of an extreme of safety. Cause, well, how like, close were you then? How, how, how close? I was on top of them. Well, j maybe clothing jam, do you know? No. You mean on top of them as in, on top of them or I was on right top in front of them? I was on top of them, we are on the ground. Okay, never mind. If it, uh, you didn't have that latch, he would have he would have been okay. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's just all the holster we have. I know. They they give us our vests and they tell us in depth. At least when I was there, they said the purpose of your vest is to stop a nine millimeter. It won't stop a forty caliber. It won't stop a forty five caliber. But if someone gets your gun, it'll protect you from your own gun. The vest. What, what caliber of gun do we carry? 40 caliber. That's why I had two vests. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, if he'd had our holster, he'd have been okay. Maybe if he had, uh, if he had your holster, you'd have got the gun away from him. No, not the way he was. What do you mean, not the way he was? He's fighting. Of course he was, he was fighting for his life. Yeah. And you were stabbing him in the throat. No. At that point. Thirty seconds.
Don't be upset with me. I have to ask you something. What was his name? His name? It was, uh, Eric. Eric. Okay. His badge number was 1907. Mm. He's got two small children. Yes. I know. No, actually, he has four children. Mm. He has a wife. Like you. Like me. And you chose, not him. You left him with no options. <sighs> you made that choice. He was there at the hospital helping somebody, a victim of a, a, another violent crime. Mm -hmm. And you intervened with your selfish act. What say to that? I don't really care about the 30 seconds. I want to know why you think that you could take another cop's gun and get away with it. Why you think that he'd let you take that gun. Why you think that he wouldn't fight for his life. Why, why would you think that? You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Why would you think he would? Because he wanted to help you? No. You very much knew the likely outcome of your choice. You knew the outcome of your choice. You knew that he would struggle for his life to keep his gun. No. No, I didn't. I didn't think about it. I didn't think about a lot of things. I just focused on my own desire to die. And I don't cost. think you were that focused. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, just have a seat there. We'll get the other officer and uh, we'll get the two of you. Two of them will take you down. They're just going to take you down the hall. Okay. can't breathe life back into this person. No. So... Oh my gosh. What a nightmare. But... No, he, he's... So... Who's he? Eric. Huh. Yeah. Go back. Go back where? In time. You can't go back in time. There's no going back in time. There never is. That's why they make movies about it, because people want to do it. No, you make, you, make, you make the best of what the situation that you're in. 
Yeah. That's telling the truth. This you're sorry for not telling me the truth, but you're not sorry for what you did. I'm not not telling you. The is truth. that what you is that what you want to leave me with? Nope. I'm just not talking about a certain time period in this incident, and it's not an incident. It's it's a it's a horrific thing, and that's it. There's nothing I can. I gotta. When you go to my house, look at my training place. It's in the basement. I do it every day. Uh, I will. Every day. I'm I not overly concerned about that. I'm concerned what happened to my friend. I know. In the parking lot. Eric. Eric. Yes. How old is he? He's 49 years old. Yeah. 51, sorry. He's 51, 51 years old. Just shy of retirement. Yeah. No, actually, no. He just joined the Ottawa Police. Oh, really? Well. And you chose that. You ended it. Your name is Tim. It is. Tim Hughes. Hodgins. Sorry, Hodgins. Okay, Tim Hodgins. Tell me about the last moments of his life. I didn't know he was dead until I was inside, and that guy said, you just killed one of our guys. Right, but tell me about the last moments of his life. Well, the guy jumped me, and then uh, he was bear hugging me, and he got up and he ran into the hospital. And when I was taken in, I saw blood all over the ground. Yeah, the guy who came out to help bear hugged you. Yeah, he was, a, he was not, a paramedic or something. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the last moments of Eric's life. I wasn't there for them. He went into the hospital. He got up and ran in. And the guy... You can't, you can't think that that's what I'm talking about. That's as callous a thing as I've ever heard it's anyone say callous. in my life. You don't think that's callous? No. I'm telling you that's callous. Based. Sweeter. Kevin, there's a camera right there. Yes. Look at that camera. Uh -huh. If there's one thing that you want to leave this room to tell Eric's family, uh -huh. it's right there. I'm sorry with your dad. That's it? That's it. I am. You're not sorry about his brothers and sisters, his wife. I never said that eloquent. That's all you got? I'm not you. That's what I am. I am sorry. I'm really sorry. I took this course too. You, you're the honest guy, right? Awkwardly honest, brutally honest. Well then, then be, be, be brutally honest, Mr. Brutally Honest. I heard you guys were whispering outside. Whispering? You didn't hear me whispering. Someone was. I don't, there might have been somebody outside the door. You can hear people coming and going past the door here all the time. It wasn't me. 
that was not with Holy Spirit, so that's why I offered you one. Is this you? No, with Holy Spirit. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, with glass of water. Which I offered to you. Mm -hmm. I think I need some. I still haven't explained why you didn't select any other one. I just don't get it. You were going to do what you do. Stand in front of a car. It's really irrelevant. You know, you know what I wouldn't do? If I made the choice, so now, now that you want, now that you ask me a question, but I feel like answering. If I made the choice to end my life, I certainly wouldn't be a coward and involve somebody else. It has no, no purpose in your little drama. I wouldn't be doing that, no. So, so now that you ask me, and I'm being brutally honest with you, Mister. Mister. Pearson, right, sir. Kevin. 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 Now that I'm being brutally honest with you, Kevin, that's something I wouldn't do. Because I don't think that's what's your intent. That's why. Yeah, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for intent. Oh, well, I know what the intent is. You've already provided. It. I just don't get your thinking that you could actually disarm the cop. And even if you did, it wouldn't be that good. It's about the choices that we make every day, the choice that you make, the selection process, the elimination. What's that? My outfit? It doesn't matter. When they were causing me trouble at work, my plan when I was in Regina was to put my surge on and go down to the crown board and cut my throat, which I'm glad I didn't do because it wouldn't have worked, just to cause trouble for the force because it was a big, it was a big PR thing. And when I got here in town, my thing was I'll go down to the Centennial Flames, just lay up there, and now I realize, holy shit, that would have been the stupidest thing in the world because I couldn't have cut my throat anyway. And that's what kept me going, the fact that I could die and leave at any time. And this has been going on since 2005, and that's what's kept me going. So I've been suicidal for five fucking years. So for me, it's no big deal. But do you, how, how, you ever, did you ever seek any medical? Like, did you ever go to a, a doctor and say, look, I, I've been, I want to check out here. No. Why? You just don't do that. I'm a policeman. That's weak. They, well, they, they go out and they talk about this, this stuff where you go and you talk to psychologists and crap like that. But everyone knows you don't do that. You, you suck it up. You, 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 you drink or whatever. You drink? No. You drugs? You don't take any medication? No, you suck it up. Did anyone ever tell you you had a mental illness? No. You think you do? Yes. What do you have? I think I'm depressed. Okay. You're depressed. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to minimize that. But... No, well, when you have a mental illness, they just have different ways of exhibiting it. Schizophrenia, you have depression, you have bipolar, whatever. And all it is is a chemical imbalance. And it can be brought on by anything. But you're depressed. I guess if I'm trying to clock out. I've been this for years. But the thing is, is that it's just. How how are you feeling, Kevin? I mean, besides beyond what you're here for, how are you feeling? Me right now? Yeah. You're cold. I'm supposed to be dead right now. You're I was cold. supposed to be dead four years ago, and I can't seem to freaking die. Why is that? I just don't know. I cut my throat. Like I'm, I'm an APO guy. Okay. It's it's a specialized. We have specialized training in the force. It's like a whack, you know. Hey, hold on. And and the emphasis is on blade work. So I have I have a I have a. I'm sorry, I have training. Can you do me a favor, Kevin? I know you're you're I'm saying. Well, I don't know if you're cold. I'm freezing. No, but I but. Could you do me a favor and sit up a little bit? I, yeah, I'm just, okay, sorry. I'll just sit up and suck it up. No, but so the thing is that I'm on video, right? It's all being recorded. So you do know that, right? We did. I've already been over that. But I don't mean to interrupt you. I've done you. lots of this. I have you? Have you? Interview too. Do you? Where, where did you take that? In China. At the depot? Well, the course is at the depot. Yeah. It was asked. It was in my fifth year of service. Okay. And how did you like the course? I took the one here at Canadian Police College. It's probably the same one. It's two weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so you said about some specialized training. Was that in the military? No, it was in the force here. Yeah. They yeah. Just, we had just we have a 
So I've been, I, I tried to kill myself and I failed. And, and uh, part of my training too is when you obtain weapons, you obtain them from security group and police officers. Because they're the ones who have them, especially in Western society. And looking for them. That's it. And, uh, and I failed and I'm still alive and I just got two holes in my neck and I'm sitting here. It's kind of, holy shit. It's supposed to be that way. I can't even die. What the force, what they do in our organization is because they're into image and they can't fire you. Once you get in, they can't fire you. It's, it's really tough. And so what they do is they uh, kind of shut you out. And that's what they're doing to me. So you want to leave. Why aren't you stubborn? Like even. But you know, it's, it's just ahead. like this, uh, is, this is your chance to vent. This is your chance to talk. There's, there's a, many sides to every story. And I'm sure you have a side to talk. They just so I came here because they were just hounding me. Special law and everything. Special law is the surveillance team, right? Yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty bad. And so I just came here. And right now my file is sitting on Mr. Elliot's desk. Bill Elliot, the commissioner. Yeah. But it took, it took, uh, do you, do you know him? Personally? Yeah. No. No, he's a good guy. But people. Have you ever visited him? Oh, you yeah. know about that too? Oh, gosh. No, about what? Well, I don't, I'm not the bright, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but I, when they're giving me a hard time in uh, Regina, I, under the RCMP, I could, uh, they, they do things. You, as an engineering member, yeah. I can't, so I made a complaint I put it once so I made a complaint I, I personally delivered it to them and my mom and a plate of cookies so they wouldn't be intimidated by me. And you uh, delivered your complaint to him at his home? At his home. Oh, okay. And my brought my mom and she's like five feet tall and she's kind of, she's old. She's nine. Well, 73. But she's old and she's completely un, um, intimidating. So she, Oh, okay. So I brought her along you know, just to, you know, to not be frightened by me. Did you drop the parcel at the door? I gave it to his son. Son, yeah. and son gave it to the dad. And the dad sent me a letter saying, you have to work with his class. Because the thing that, that, that people don't understand what Mr. Pelley, I do understand that he's your typical lawyer type guy, and he will not work without, he will only work with process. He works inside the process. That's yeah. it. That's the law. So what it did was it took two more years to get my file to him appropriately. Yes. And so it's the file sitting there on his desk now. They had a panel which was... What did you complain about, uh, Kevin? What was your complaint? By the RCMP. Yeah. The, the, it's by, involved by. as an assistant commissioner called the superintendent, which is not a good thing because you don't do that. Or you, don't, uh, you don't make complaints against what you But I did. But now it's the only thing that you will deal with within process. And now this is Well, you would have to agree that this is considerably more serious than... Oh, yeah. You would have to agree with that, right? I mean, you understand the gravity of what's going on. This isn't a complaint against the RCMP. This is a murder of a police officer. We're not... We're kind of talking apples and oranges, aren't we? Okay. I just... 
I don't want you to be under the impression that, or try to make, I don't think you're trying to convince me that they're the same thing, are you? 